So consider the theorem that we've shown in the former clip, in which we make statements about invertible matrices and related to solutions of systems Ax is y. Now consider such a system, we have an n times n matrix A, and we look at the equation, the system of linear equations Ax is B. Well, there are actually two cases. Well, the first case is uh, that A is regular. Well, this is just stating that the inverse of the matrix A exists. So if we look at the matrix A and IN, so the identity matrix, and we determine the reduced row echelon form, then we arrive at IN together with the inverse of the matrix A. And the solution is given, is the solution is a unique one, and it's given by uh, the inverse of A times B. And also we may uh, find X by considering the augmented matrix and find the reduced row echelon form, which will be, be the identity matrix with X. Well, the other case is where A is called singular or where A inverse does not exist. So if we reduce the augmented matrix AB, then we, have, we can have two cases. So the first case is, is that we end up with uh, on the left-hand side with the row of zeros and end up with a wrongly placed pivot in a column where B stands, then we have an inconsistent system. Now we have zero solutions. Well, the other case is where, as a result, we have a full row of zeros. And then we could have a consistent system and infinitely many solutions because the rank of A is smaller than N.